Hi everyone, I'm making a YouTube video today. Uh, I kind of made, I'm trying to make a Minecraft computer that can do like maps and subtraction and other things like that. So, so far I've made a calculator. It can only go up to 15 though. After that you do 16 plus the thing. I think that's how it works because maps. Oh yeah, uh, I did this. I found a command to get a um, head and it's Christmas. Christmas skin. Uh, let me close this. I, I'm playing Skyblock. I'm just in the AFK pool. Okay, but see, I just, uh, just ignore this. Actually, this is my friend. That's, do and th these both are also my friends. That's my skin. Uh, I don't know what this is. I just, I just put in random skins and I found them. This is Hero Brian. This is Notch. Uh, I don't know who this is, actually. I don't know who, this is Hypixel, I think. I forget which YouTuber this is. I think that's Grian, and I don't know who that is. But I just put a command to get those. Okay, let me just break them. But right now, I made this com- It's kind of a c Okay, I have to turn them all off. So what you do, this is number one. And you add this with number two. Okay, so for example, if I do nothing here, this is zero plus zero. And this should be a zero. So if you take a binary number, uh, and then you convert it into the number, let me, uh, I made a scratch program in scratch. And, and what it does basically converts binary numbers into normal numbers. And it was kind of easy to make, but then on the last part of it, I was like, oh no, how do we fix this? It's not working. It just changes everything to five. And then I just put in a random number, and then it worked. And I didn't, and I don't know how that works. So I'll pull up my um, my account. Also, I made this game. It's called High Pixel Skyblock Simulator. I made it before Dungeons came out. So this, uh, oh yeah, here. I have I have that. And also this, which means this must be good. If you have 50 million, you can buy this. It's a Midasaur. It doesn't do anything. This will give you a boost in um, zealot um, in summoning eyes. Just hold this down, and this goes up. <coughs> it's um, 1 in 210 chance to be able to get the summoning eye. 8, uh, eight um, summoning eyes to get a dragon. You click this, it takes you to a wheat island. Now you can do this. You click, uh, you click this one, and it takes you to the place where you do slayers, and the squid is here. So, and then you go back, okay, so. Yeah, and then there's also the bazaar, I kind of fix, I need to fix the dialogue. If you have one gem, you can click on this dude, and you can sell stuff. This is when gems were just announced, and that's when I made this. I don't know when I actually made this, this is September 28th. Yeah, and a lot of people did this, too. So... Please do that. But, okay, let's go to my stuff. It might actually be my school account with the binary to not binary. Okay. Yeah, I made all these random stuff. Game that's not done. Can Scratch be- oh, yeah, I used this to see if Scratch was kind of random. I wonder what- yeah, no, that's a random number generator. Uh... Hmm. Yes, this is what I will be doing on my birthday. Birthday's done. This is a bit, bit ago. Okay. Oh, wait. Control up. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Okay. So, if I click on this, um, and then I go here, I'm going to minimize this tab and put it up here. Okay. So, if I do this, any binary number. So let's put. I'm gonna put this over to the side for now. So let's do. So let's do. Okay, six. So this is um six. Two plus four. Um six plus. Hmm, let's do two. So this should be eight. And if we wait for a bit, this will. This should change to that. So now it's one. Zero zero zero. So if I pull this up here, I type in one zero zero zero. It should be eight. 
see, it's eight. Okay, let's do this with another thing. Let's do this with four. Plus, let's do this with four plus eight. So because it, the only way you can display four and eight, I mean, the, I mean the only way you can display twelve is one one zero zero. It just lights up the um, eight and the four, even though that we just did that. So if we pull this up again, the number here is one. The number um here. Okay, I can't do this. Okay, there. So the number here is one one zero zero. Let's go here. One program. One one zero zero. It's twelve. Uh, how I made this work is if you go behind here. Yeah, this is redstone. It's all redstone, and I also flipped those, so I had to do it. Also, did you know if you make a spear and you fill it solid and you let it um and you turn it into sand and turn it back into something else, it makes a pretty nice shape. I added some details onto it, and then if you do a hollow sphere, it looks like that. It just, uh, it's kind of like that. This is, so, this is also a thing I made. I'm gonna break this for now, because it kind of causes a bit of lag from all these observers. But it looks pretty cool. This is like a, uh, how did, I don't know how that happened. But this is like a, I guess it's like a surfboard, and those are some legs. So I do other things in this um, world too. There's this is also a um a D latch I guess. So this is the output. So okay, so you can change if this is off. Okay, so let's do this. Wait, yeah. So this is on. This is off. Right now, when this is off, we can change this to whatever is on. So let's. I want to set it to off. So I want to store this as a zero. Now, I'm going to save it. Now, nothing else can change it until this is turned off again. And basically how it works is th that, get lo that gets locked, basically. That's the cool little thing I remembered. Like, yeah, that could work too. Okay, so how I made this, this is an, uh, uh, this is an adder gate. A-Z-D-E-R, if I guess that would make sense. Um... I made it, this is the original design, but I made it much smaller. So, so here, what it, how it works, how this works is there's two XOR gates. How they, so basically what these do is they take an input and they give you an output. So this is a, yeah, this is an OR gate. So basically you don't have to do that for an OR gate. If, um, so... If both are on, it's good that that out is gonna be on. If only one's on, it'll be on there. And if none are on, it'll be off. This is an AND gate. It needs both of them to be for it needs both of them to be on for this to be on. Um and that's all basically. There's also other gates too, but I didn't use them in this. But in this XOR gate, I used a hey, what I wonder what this is. Yeah, this is a NAND gate. This is a not AND. So basically it's an AND, but it's the opposite. I made the design simpler there. This is a NOT gate. It, so if that's off, this is on. If this is on, that's off. This is the OR gate. We already looked at it there. This is the NOR gate. It's the NOR gate, but opposite. There is also a... Yeah, okay. Actually, I already went over that. So this is just an AND gate, but it needs all 16 of these leaves to be flipped on. So if you flip all of these on, now that turns on, and that turns on. I just uh, was playing around. But yeah, see, this calculator works. But the thing is, if you go, let's say you do 8 plus 8. This is too much for the calculator. This is uh, this can only support up to 4 bits. Or something, I don't know. So it can only store a 1, they can only store 4 bits of data. I'm planning to add a save function, so then you can, um, it saves it, but then when you flip a lever, it'll save it and put the number here. So like, oh, let's say you really like this number, you like, for some reason, you'd like, like, you like the number 12. 
So then that, I'll make four of those put and put another screen here. So then you can just, you can flip that there, put in the number, save it, and then you can, and then you can have it saved there. And then nothing's going to change it and it'll be pretty cool. So how it works basically is for an adder gate, basically um, how the, so each table, I, I don't know, I guess we'll call them tables. They all have a, a table basically. And the table has different things. So it has two rows, an input and an output um, thing. So wait, let me get the lever again. Oh, and I have auto jump on. I was playing 1.8.9. Okay, so if I put if I put some levers here and stuff. So if I do this, if any one is on, it'll that that one on the left will be on. That one on the left will be on. So if any one of them is on. So, wait, huh, I think I broke this. Yeah, the, stre the strength of the signal isn't strong enough, so I have to put a repeater there. Now, it turns on. So now, let's say I have two on. So if any two are on, that, that one right there, that one I'm pointing at, that one will turn on. That's the um, one on the right. Oh, come on, I broke mine. So then I turn this one on. So now it's these two. And there. So you could hard code it. So then if if one, yeah, but then you'd still be, and you'd still end up doing this. And then if these um, two on the edges are on, just to show that it worked for all combinations. See, that one's still on. But then if all three are on, it will give an output of one. So this is the carry, that's just there, and these are the add. So this is, so let's, so um, the two outputs you can get here. Let's okay, yeah, I'm lagging kind of a bit. So, so that would be a one there, and I think that would be a zero. So let's say you do a one plus a zero. That's the one. If you do a one plus a one. Actually, no, that would light up there. I guess that would be kind of like a two, but then it would be two bits. So, yeah, I, I guess I could call each of those lights one bit because they're one tiny dot, that, because they're one dot of information. That's all I have in this YouTube video. Changed my skin. Merry Christmas. Have, a good, have some good holidays. And see you later. Sorry I haven't recorded a video in a long time. Bye.